offense. Nice. Wow. Ruined in one instance. Just done. scheduled for tonight's bout. He gets off with a combination up top. Locks a shot and pulls the trigger. Good combination. Well placed left hand there. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Downstairs. He scored well after being hit himself. Just missed scoring with that punch. Doubles up the jab. Crashes home with a hook. Returns the favor with an uppercut. And you can see that label of volume puncher was made for this guy as the punch stats prove true. Yeah, he doesn't care really where he hits you. It makes you think of those stories you used to hear in the old days. Maybe your grandfather, maybe your father talked about Rocky Marciano. Loved that guy, former heavyweight champ of the world. He'd hit you anywhere. He didn't care. Back of the head, he hit you on the arms, and he stopped breaking you down. This guy doesn't care. He just rolled. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. We're going to put his punches together. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Locks it away. Nice combination. Landing more than one. Both were able to score. That's it. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Fine-looking combination from him now. Well, that's the benefit of combination punching right there, Joe. The first couple missed, but the third, the fourth, they landed. Skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Clean shot with the right. 
You know, that jab is so basic, so simple, but as you can see, so very effective for him early on in this fight. Yeah, well, he's telling his opponent, you're not coming onto my property. You know, I have a dog here, and this dog bites. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. A lot of people may think he's putting forth a good effort just by throwing punches. His corner would disagree. He is not being effective. That's it. Oh, not at all. Why? Why is he not being effective? Because he's not thinking about what he's doing. He's just chucking punches. He's not really putting any intellect behind it. Looking to where he has to throw it instead of just throwing it. Really brought it that time. A four-punch combination. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Good shot there with that left. Very effective with the block and then the score. Targets the hook after blocking that shot. Effective counter punching. Blocks it away. Overhand right. A barrage of punches now. That right hand serving well. He really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Commits to the straight right. Good looking two punch combination there. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but uh, pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is. And what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands in his pocket. He's afraid to move his hands because the other guy's so much faster. One, two. Good right hand. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Keep your hands up. And that's the end of round three. You want this? Start of round four. I was trying to listen into what was told to him after the third round. Teddy, he trails on your scorecard three rounds to zip. He's throwing a lot of punches, but he needs some better advice. Yeah, well, one of the things that he could be told, and I would tell him, is move at your last punch. Don't stand there and wait for the receipt. You're paying a price. How about a return to sender with the left hand? to connect with the uppercut. Fires right back at him. I really like what he's doing here. I mean, if you were to pick any one piece of weaponry that you say aligns with what he is strategically as a fighter, it is the jab, and he's firing it off beautifully. And he's firing it off consistently all night at the right distance. He's getting full extension on that punch, and that's making him effective offensively and safe defensively. He's out of the other fighter's range. Some fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good exchange, he fires back. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Hard to believe they can still give like this in these final moments of what has been a sensational round. I feel like I'm back at the amusement park on the roller coaster again, like a kid. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. That's a clean shot, able to get in with the right hand. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled and boiled was never al dente. These legs are not al dente. Fires off the hook. Look at that. How you doing? Round comes to an end here. And Teddy, I know you've had a very busy week. You've been training some pro football players this week. There are many parallels to be made between the pro fight game and pro football. Yeah, there are. You know, physical ones and emotional mental ones. I mean, the physical ones are when I work with some of these behemoths, 
you know, like offensive linemen. They have to punch out, you know, with their arms. They have to make sure that they get those hands out now. If they raise their elbows, just like a fighter raising his elbow before he throws a jab, they lose the power. So you got to teach them to keep those elbows in, punch out without any telegraph, without any loss of power. And also, get those hands out at the right distance. If they're a little late, the big guy gets in on them. And now he can control him. And, of course, the mental aspects of it where they get into those dark rooms we talk about every once in a while, where they have to remember that they have control. They can make the choice. You know, you get in those dark rooms, you start to think that you lose control of the choice, that your opponent's making a choice for you. No, that's not the truth. Good-looking counterpunch. Here in these later rounds, you can start to see a trend, and one is developing. He cannot get away from that left hand. Now listen, when you throw your punches, it's not enough just to chuck them out there. You gotta throw them from the right distance. He's throwing them from a little too close, where he's vulnerable, as you said, to that left hand. smart thing right there just created enough space and then landed the counter punch look like the will of the wisps the old great willie peck made a miss made him pay so swiftly able to turn defense into offense nice counter punch. Ruined in one instance, just gone.